January 27, 2021. My name is Thomas Wigan. I would like to discuss with you about why it's not healthy to be sleeping in your bed until 12 in the afternoon. Or noon for short. 1. Your back tends to hurt. 2. Who you don't, you can get late, you get lazy and depressed. Hest. And uh, also, oh, three. It's like when you get out of bed, you tend to get back into bed. Almost like a drug addiction. And, but, here's other ways that you should look at when you go to bed. One, um, beds are for sleeping, not for relaxing. You can use it to take a nap. Go to sleep. Yep, and that's all. Oh, even that you don't ever want to try. I would do. Go to sleep. You don't want to lay on your bed. And this is one of those two reasons. Number two. Who is that to feel lazy? You tend to get a little more lazier and lazier until you fix until you find an idea. This is from Bar Rescue. John Taffer said this. I'm not embracing excuses. I'm embracing solutions. Hence, if you, if you don't like your situation, fix it. But if you want to, to take it, if you want to, someone to like you, be respectful. If you want to be a good parent, take accountability for your actions and, and don't to be lazy about every little thing because you know what you do was wrong, wrong, but it doesn't matter. And, and number four, what, if you want to give a present or a gift to someone, and guess what? Don't expect anything in return. If you buy someone a gift to have, like you treat someone to ice cream, you don't expect it. Like, let's say if you paid for it, but someone gave it to you as a gift, don't expect anything in return. If you have a habit of doing that, I suggest you stop and rethink before you tell your relationships for good. If you have a problem with anger issues, please, I suggest you to understand that when and your son and daughter move out, he's going to move out in like six months, for example. Well, this it's going to be a last chance before you. Those six months, months is going to be a last chance for you to fix your issues before you you don't ever see them again. Heck, they might not even and live with you or want to live with you because you don't take take accountability for your issues. Please. If you hold a grudge, don't. As, because if you hold a grudge, I'll be brutally honest, you're wasting your time. And number two, you can't control the past. Trust me. Number three, accelerated aging and health issues. There's not to mention disobedience towards God. I've been there before. It's not all worth it. I took the tour. And it's not, and I don't think you want any part of that. Believe me. You'll thank me later. You'll thank the reason why. Hi. Because when you who watch this video, you'll understand why. I you, how my advice is good and solid, clear. Uh, solid as stone. Um, please like, comment, rate, subscribe.